Hey guys, welcome back to our Houston Texans franchise. Take a look at that score. The Cleveland Browns beat the Seattle Seahawks 35-6 in Cleveland. Browns are now 5-3. Titans beat the Saints 16-6. The Eagles beat the Cowboys. And the game of the week, the Packers destroy the Chicago Bears 32-6. The Raiders beat the Lions. They improve to 3-4. And, and the Patriots get back on track. After losing to us last week, they beat the Dolphins 30-24. The Redskins travel to New York to take on the Jets, and the Jets come away with an upset victory, 37-22. And Michael Vick and the Falcons beat the Buccaneers, 28-19 in Atlanta. The Bengals rock the 49ers, 38-3, not even close. 49ers drop to 1-6. And the Carolina Panthers fall to 2 and 5. They lose to the Cardinals 24 to 21. The Indianapolis Colts beat the Denver Broncos 38 to 20. And we have to travel to Buffalo to take on the 2 and 4 Bills. It's a huge game. If we lose it, we will be in second place in the AFC South. If we win, we will be tied for first with the Indianapolis Colts. It is a snowy game, the first snow game in Houston Texans football history. And there are the AFC South standings. Jacksonville's four and three. Tennessee struggling at two and five. Max DePace on for the opening kickoff, and he boots it deep right to the end zone. And Seabrooks will return this one past the 15 and won't get much farther than that. Mo Sykes took him down at the 17 yard line. And there is DJ Williams dropping Travis Henry in the backfield. So two plays in a row, Miami Hurricanes making some tackles. Second and 12, Bledsoe dropping back, and he is sacked. That is Corey Redding with the sack. And he just absolutely destroyed that right tackle and Drew Bledsoe. Bledsoe looking to throw it and almost picked off, and that is Charles Tillman making his return after being injured for several weeks. Nice play for him. Here's Larry Johnson getting a carry right side. Juking, spinning, picking up maybe four yards. Third and three now. Palmer hits Miller on the left side. First down, down to the 33-yard line. Carson Palmer looking to continue his success from last week. Looking to get his sophomore season back on track here as he has struggled early on. Third and 11 for Palmer. And he goes left side to Billy Miller, who breaks a tackle, fights for the first down, but is taken down just shy. And fourth and inches will be upcoming. Max DePace on for the field goal attempt. The kick is up, and it is no good. It was short. He did not get enough leg on it. Let's see how close it was. It was right down the middle. But you can see he missed it by a yard or two. It's not enough leg from Max to pace. His first miss on the season. Andrew Bledsoe throws three incomplete passes in a row, and the Bills will punt the ball away. Texans back on offense. Palmer evading defenders, finally hitting Billy Miller up to the 45-yard line. And will tack on five yards as Ken Hamlin, rookie free safety, face masked him on the play. Miller has three catches already. Palmer looking for him again, and he's got him at the 15-yard line. Big reception for Billy Miller. Palmer now 4 of 5 for 66 yards. Here's Johnson breaking it out right side, looking very slow, picking up 8 yards. Definitely looked gassed halfway through that run. Negative 4 yards of offense for Buffalo so far. And here's Larry Johnson juking, hurtling, and walking into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. And they are dominating Buffalo so far in the first quarter. Second and eight for Drew Bledsoe. Dropping back, throwing it left side. Caught by Peerless Price right in front of Jamie Henderson for the first down. The first first down of the game for Buffalo. And there is another one. Two plays in a row, two first downs, both to Peerless Price. This one gets him up to midfield. Rodney Harrison finally brought him down. Bledsoe in the shotgun, Henry to his right, and they'll give it to Henry on the draw play, and he's going to squeeze through there, run a man over, and pick up 12 or 13 yards for the first down. Nice run for Travis Henry, ran over Roniel Whitaker, Jamie Henderson finally stops him. First down, Bledsoe's going to get crushed again, and I believe that is Corey Redding once again, and it is blowing by the right tackle. 
and laying out Drew Bledsoe. Second and ten. Henry gets the counter and he goes nowhere. And that was Marcus Washington on the tackle. Third and long upcoming now. And wide open is Eric Moulds. He got past Charles Tillman down to the 22-yard line for the first down. Now in the second quarter, Bledsoe crushed again by Corey Redding, and he puts it on the turf. And that is a strip sack by Corey Redding, his second sack of the game. I believe that is his fourth or fifth on the season. And it was recovered by Marcus Washington, I believe. Play action from Palmer. Going left side. Jabbar Gaffney with the catch. Defender dives and misses. Gaffney breaks a tackle past midfield up to Buffalo's 47-yard line. Great run after the catch by the third-year wide receiver, Jabbar Gaffney. 102 yards of offense so far for Houston as Johnson gets another carry here, picking up seven yards off the right side. Third and four, though. Palmer. Scanning the field, stepping up in the pocket, throwing it left side, and it looked like it should have been caught, but was deflected away. Houston forced to punt the ball, and here's Travis Henry picking up eight or nine yards. Jamie Sharper on the tackle, third and one. Bledsoe rolling right and almost intercepted there over the middle of the field. Bledsoe was almost sacked as well. And the Bills punt the ball away, and that is Sammy Parker, who was just signed this morning. And he's going to return this one up past the 30 and up to the 35-yard line. So the rookie wide receiver, Sammy Parker, gets a nice 15-yard punt return. And that is the first touch of his career. Palmer, by himself on the left side, launches one deep left side. And that is Bryant Johnson, who runs over Antoine Winfield. And he will score. And we've seen that before this year. Last week against Leonard Myers, Bryant Johnson did the same exact thing. And it might have been on the same exact route. Winfield stuck with him the whole time. And he was right there. Just got plowed through. Unbelievable effort by Brian Johnson for the big touchdown. 14 to nothing is the score as Travis Henry breaks a tackle. Spins a man out and gets up to the 37-yard line. Travis Henry has been the only bright spot so far for the Buffalo Bills offense. As Bledsoe is pressured and almost picked off by Jamie Sharper over the middle of the field. Kind of a forced pass by Bledsoe. Draw play to Henry, and he does not get the first down, so Buffalo will punt the ball. Harrison gets his fifth tackle on the day. Sammy Parker bent deep to return at his own 20-yard line. And he will return this one to the left side. Nice blocking. One man to beat. It's the punter, and he gets by him. And Sammy Parker is going to take this one to the house. So the rookie makes his NFL debut. And in two punt returns, he gets a touchdown. It is an 80-yarder on the left sideline. Unbelievable play. And we have, haven't have seen a special teams touchdown in a long time since Justin Fargus last season. And I think week three or four. And Bledsoe's going deep. He's got Moulds wide open. Charles Tillman gets burnt once again. And Moulds finally taken down at the 33-yard line by Charles Tillman. Second and seven. Bledsoe over the middle, caught by Henry. It was almost picked off by Rodney Harrison. Henry gets the first down to the 16-yard line. Very fortunate that Rodney Harrison did not step in front of that one. First and ten. Henry gets a toss, following his blockers up to the nine-yard line. Another good run. Henry now has 51 yards on the ground, I believe, and that pass is almost deflected or almost intercepted. Excuse me. Bounced off the receiver's helmet. Bills do tack on a field goal. 21-3 is the score. And here's Terry Fair from the 13-yard line up past the 25. Past the 30 in the open field. Past the 45 up to the 49-yard line. He saw the huge play by Sammy Parker. He's trying to let that rookie know that he's not going to take his kick return spot. And here's Larry Johnson getting a catch out of the backfield. First down and more up to the 35-yard line. Johnson has... As many catches this season as he did last year already. Definitely using him more in the passing game. And here is Sammy Parker getting a reception over the middle up to the 20-yard line. His first career reception. What a debut this young man is having. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think about our new rookie, Sammy Parker. 
And what you think he'll bring to the team is Larry Johnson gets a catch and he gets a touchdown reception right over the middle. It didn't look like any linebacker was on him. Easy touchdown for Houston. Second and four for Buffalo. Bledsoe going deep once again. Eric Moulds beating Jamie Henderson this time. 13 seconds to go. Bledsoe's going to throw it deep. No, he is sacked once again. And guess who, folks? Corey Redding this time lining up at defensive tackle and gets his third sack on the day. Unbelievable performance in the first half by the Houston Texans. They are up 28-3 as they look to improve to 5-2 on the season. Total yards are pretty close for each team, but the Houston defense and special teams has just dominated. It's been unbelievable. And here's Sammy Parker getting a kick return, and he will not get past the 21-yard line. He looked pretty slow on that one. And here's Larry Johnson getting a carry, fighting forward, picking up five or six yards. Another run, another good run for Larry Johnson. And he'll get another handoff. Left side, first down, up to the 31 and a half yard line. Not a whole lot of running yards so far for Houston, but here's Quentin Griffin in the open field. Looks like he had some space. Great closing speed by the linebacker. No, excuse me, that was Troy Palomalu. Here's Palmer looking to throw over the middle. Sammy Parker, he gets the first down up to the 45-yard line. Clutch first down catch. Second and seven. Johnson, carry right side. Not getting the first down, but very close. Third and inches upcoming. Troy Palomalu on the tackle once again. And on third and inches, he gets the first down and more up to the 37-yard line. Four minutes to go here in the third. Palmer is sacked. He's dropped way back at the 47-yard line. And that was Newman, linebacker, coming through the middle of the field. Second and 18. Jabbar Gaffney over the middle. Gets him closer to that first down marker and makes this third down more manageable. Third and nine. Palmer staying in the pocket over the middle. Bryant Johnson getting a catch for the first down, breaking a tackle inside the red zone. But third and 11 now. Palmer goes over the middle, and that is deflected away. We tack on another field goal. And there's Peerless Price on the left side once again for a first down to the 31-yard line. Three consecutive completions for Drew Bledsoe. Right side, Eric Moulds to the 40. Third and short, 120 to go in the third. Travis Henry gets the handoff in the first down up to the 46-yard line. Third and 10 now. A lot of third and longs for the Bills, and he has to go short to Peerless Price, who gets taken down at midfield well short of the first down. They do punt the ball away again. Here's Palmer rolling left side, hitting Billy Miller close to the first down, but they don't give it to him. Be fourth and inches. That is Newman's fifth tackle. Palmer, quarterback sneak on fourth and inches, picks up three yards and a first down. So Houston not really giving any respect to the Buffalo Bills offense or defense right there. They only have 66 yards on the ground though as Johnson gets a carry, breaks it out right side past the 45 yard line, running over Ken Hamlin, rookie free safety. Second and nine, Palmer play action, rolling right side and he hits his man, that's Sammy Parker who breaks a tackle up to the 22 yard line. He's got 42 yards receiving and an 80 yard punt return. Palmer scanning again, rolling left side all day to throw it. Finally finding Billy Miller inside the five yard line. Billy Miller just seems like he has been open all game. Doesn't matter who's covering him. He's got six catches and 79 yards. First and goal, Larry Johnson up the gut, running through a linebacker for six. 38 to three is now the score and look at that powerful run right there. Linebacker didn't stand a chance. Bledsoe looking to get some more points on the board before the game is over. Nice catch on the sideline for a big first down. Third and ten for Bledsoe. Another third and long. And they convert as Eric Moles was wide open again. Rodney Harrison took him down for his sixth tackle. Bledsoe going to throw it. He is crushed. And that is picked off by rookie Dante Robinson. And they say he fumbled it and is recovered by Buffalo. Very unusual play there, an interception and a fumble, so two turnovers in one play. It was very close. We did challenge it and lose it, so we lost the timeout. Let me know what you guys think about that, if that was a fumble or not. And here's Bledsoe getting sacked once again. This time it is Marcus Washington coming from that outside linebacker spot. 
Wessel dropping back, throwing deep, deflected away by Charles Tillman. Great play by the second-year corner out of UL Lafayette. Former Carolina Panther that we traded for in the offseason. Third and 13. Bledsoe over the middle, deflected away by Terry Fair. Getting some defensive playing time there. His first deflection of the game. Fourth and 13. Bledsoe's going to have to throw it again. Just checks it down to Henry. And he gets taken down well short of the first down at the 16. And this is rookie running back Willie Parker out of North Carolina getting his first career carry. And that was a three-yard pickup. There's a third and six, though. Justin Fargus gets a handoff, and he is taken down well short of the first down. Rookie punter John Skaggs out of Navy comes in for his first career punt. He boots it up, and that is about a 40-yard kick with a four-second hang time. And Ken Hamlin goes nowhere. Great coverage downfield, and there's a holding call on Jerome McDougal. Right end out of Miami. First and 10. Bledsoe deep once again. Eric Moulds beating Charles Tillman. Looking a little rusty after being injured for so long. And right side almost picked off that time by Charles Tillman. That's his fourth deflection on the game. Will Smith put the pressure on Drew Bledsoe. Bledsoe left side caught by Peerless Price. And he's going to walk into the end zone for the garbage time touchdown. Buffalo Bills finally see the end zone for the first time of the game. But that will end it. Houston Texans come into Orchard Park, New York, and demolish the Buffalo Bills 38-10 in the Snowy Massacre. That's what this game will be known as because the Bills did not stand a chance from the opening kickoff, really. Rookie wide receiver Sammy Parker really showed out today. Played a great game in his NFL debut. Larry Johnson gets player of the game. He had 98 yards rushing, 257 passing. 3 of 8 on third downs today. 16 minute time of possession. We put up 3 touchdowns in the second quarter. 4 in the first half. And that was enough really to win this game. Palmer has another great game. Willie Parker, 3 carries, 7 yards. 14 carries for Johnson. Billy Miller, 6 catches, 79 yards. Sammy Parker, 3 catches, 42. Larry Johnson and Bryant Johnson both have receiving touchdowns on the day. Patrick Pass, our fullback, allows a sack on the game. Jamie Henderson, Rodney Harrison lead the team in tackles. Tillman had five. Ronnie Whitaker and Sean Taylor both had four. DJ Williams, one tackle for a loss. That was on the very first play of offense for the Bills. Four sacks today, three by Redding, one by Washington. Dante Robinson gets his first career interception, and unfortunately he did fumble it away. Corey Redding gets a forced fumble, and Rodney Harrison did recover it. It was not Marcus Washington like I thought. Max DePace misses his first field goal on the season. He is now 10 of 11 on the year. Terry Fair with a 35-yard kick return up the middle. And Sammy Parker with his first career touch of the football goes for an 80-yard punt return. Last two games of the week, the 7-0 Ravens travel to San Diego, and they take out the Chargers 6-0. Ravens now 8-0 and the only undefeated team remaining. And the Vikings on Monday Night Football beat the St. Louis Rams. In our next game, Week 9, we travel to Carolina to take on the struggling 2-5 Carolina Panthers. The Panthers, of course, have rookie quarterback Eli Manning out of Ole Miss. We saw him one time in our Mississippi State Bulldogs dynasty as he was hurt the first season. But Steve Smith is questionable for the game. So they don't have a whole lot of targets. We're going to look to have a lot of fun in this game, and I can't wait to bring it to you. Take it easy, guys.